everybody. We are live. Here we have four of us fancy uh, crones, and we have one more that's joining us, um, Miss Jessica from Moon Fairy Creations. But we are about to get settled, so we're going to roll the intro, and this is a great time to go get a drink. This is go potty quick. We already have four people watching. <laughs> There's probably more that are in the chat coming through. So hold on just one second. We're going to get started with crones around the cauldron. Do you guys want to go around the cauldron and introduce yourselves? Everybody knows who the hell I am. Hi. What the fuck? Well, a lot of people know who I am, too. I am Jenna from Jennifer Ball's Witch House. And uh, I've been around the tubes a few years. So I'm really yes, happy yeah. to be here. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, somebody down there. Somebody, somebody down there. Yeah. Go. I gotta go the other way. I go the other way. It's like the Brady Bunch. Okay. Us. I'll go. I'm a desert siren. Uh, just like Jenna, I've been on YouTube for eternity. <laughs> Raven knows. <laughs> And I'm Trish, and my channel is Beanbag Hagwag. I've been on YouTube since about 2017, I think. Wow. Wow. You know, something that I have to say is thank you to each and every single one of you. And the reason why is because when I was coming into my path, I was like reading all the books and didn't know what to do. And then I think that the three of you, as well as Nathan and some others, were some of my first witchy friends. Right. We've been in. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube, we've been on YouTube together. We've been on a lot of Facebook groups together and all of that stuff. And it, it's been Y'all have been like some of the sweetest and kindest people Aww. ever. And then, and it feels like I've already met you, but we've never met in person, but it's like, it just, it's a very comfortable. And I just, yes. well, actually I met you in person. I met you in person, Miss Jenna. <laughs> However, the others, I'm like, I've never met Nathan in person. Oh, that's no crazy. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's just crazy. Yeah. Oh, my it, goodness. Yeah. Fe February on, on the witchy cruise is when I finally get to meet him. Oh, well, finally. I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited. For it's that. exciting. It's exciting. But yeah, I want to thank you guys because there's a different dynamic to learning and growing within the path. Oh, we got Jessica. Hold on one second. Yep. Awesome. There she be. Well, hi, just getting started. Hi. Hi. <laughs> but uh, what I was saying is that there's a different dynamic in growing in the path, and now it feels very um, contractual, very instant, very 30 seconds or less get to the point. And I am so done with watching videos about spell jars. I'm like, oh, do you put the oh. incense in the jar? Do you light the thing? And then you do the stuff. <laughs> so then you put stuff in it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's witchcraft. Sure. Um, whatever. <laughs> I don't you know. there's a place for that. Yeah. I, I agree. Is. Yeah, I agree. I am just done with the how-tos. I... Yeah. I don't even want to do a how to. <laughs> I don't want to do a how to. And let me tell you, being on YouTube and you do the how to's and then you get a bunch of ask holes. Yeah, I've said that before and I'll say it out loud again. If you want to know how to make your spell not work, you be an ask hole and you copy somebody else's stuff. When you don't put yourself into the spell, you've now removed your intentions. You have stripped it down to nothing. You basically put bleach all over your spell. It's sanitized. Ain't going to do shit. Or, or how, 
Or how about the ever present? That's not how you do it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, but this is how I do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and it works for me. So, hey, you yeah. know? <laughs> the thing. What it should be about, really, is sharing our wisdom and knowledge, sharing what works for us, giving you ideas that you can pull from. You don't have mm-hmm. to take the whole thing. Take bits and pieces and make it your own. Yeah. Um, yeah. I agree. I absolutely mm-hmm. agree. That is, that is, I think that is rule number one. Rule number one, it doesn't really matter what you use if you're feeling drawn to it. Right. It must be for a reason. And maybe that's coming from spirit. Maybe it's universe. Maybe it's deity. You don't really know where it's coming from, especially when it's starting. But you feel this strong urgency to like, okay, I must use rose petals. Mm -hmm. You're like, what are you using rose petals for? Don't ask me questions. I don't know. (laughs) And you know, the way I work spells is when it's happening for me, I'm not really there. Yeah. And it's so personal. It's mm-hmm. such a personal thing. And it mm-hmm. should be. Mm-hmm. Yep. I have to immediately, I've trained myself to put a little piece of paper and a pen right out. Um, and then like, it's like I, when I come to, I don't know where I go. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Exactly. I, I something takes fun? over. <laughs> what was that? Ain't it fun? It is. It is a good. I'm like not there, and then I gotta write everything down because I'm just like, oh, okay, did this work? And then you then you have to log whether or not it worked or whether it didn't work because you need to know both things. Yeah, <laughs> a book. I'm all in a book. Oh dear, what did I do? What did I do? I can't remember what I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like getting in a man. trance, and I just go. <laughs> See, that's a thing, and I think that there's some. Um, Maybe there's some people that are scared of the trance. Mm -hmm. You know, it almost feels like automatic writing for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. And I'm like, there's, there's times that I'm just not there. (laughs) I'm glad that the money. I very seldom do the same spell twice Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. and never the same way. Never. Thanks, Trish. I was, I was going to say the same thing. I'm one of these people where literally my grimoire after 40 years uh, plus years in the craft is only about this thick. Mm -hmm. And that's because I don't write it down because I Mm -hmm. do it different every time because Mm -hmm. the circumstances are usually different. The Uh, energy is different. The energy is different. Right. Right. We ourselves are different. Mm -hmm. When you you think about it, I mean, our molecular structure has changed and it changes however many days. Like we ourselves are different each time we do it. And we, I've, I've tried to go back and use a spell that worked for me. And I feel I, like I need to throw a little extra something, something at, at the end. It's just listen to those voices. They generally mm-hmm. aren't, you know, steering you down a wrong path. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. yep. Exactly. Exactly. How is everybody enjoying fall? Loving it. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of snow yesterday. Did you? No. We did. Flurries. Just just right. sl- slight flurries. And we're going to get snow tomorrow in the next three days. So, yay. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're ready. Okay, You're ready for the I am. I am. Mm-hmm. We were really lucky here in Minnesota. We've had a really long autumn Mm -hmm. um just the other day it was 66 degrees when i woke up the next day it was 25 so oh (laughs) it's made made the shift (laughs) oh (laughs) wow zers you know what we forgot because moon fairy came in moon fairy announce yourself oh yeah (laughs) say hello hi i'm jessica from moon fairy creations hi jessica It's been, a, it's been a week. Oh, we got Irish in the chat and all kinds of other people in the chat. I, Julie B and some other fancy crones up in here. Hello, beautiful. I was going to say awesome, my awesome bestie, Abby's here. My bestie girl Grun Ula, she is in the chat as well. 
I love it. I love it. I love it that people are showing up for some crowd yes. talk. Yes. I'm <laughs> um, so happy that you guys are here with us for sure. I know. I So this is Trisha's first time live. It is. We have Well, actually, her. I've done a couple of lives on oh. a different channel, but it was a long time ago. And <laughs> it didn't make me any less nervous. So. Well, if you look, it, you don't look nervous at all. If you are nervous, you're not looking yeah, like you're nervous at all. It's, so it's much easier since <laughs> there's five of us. <laughs> <laughs> Safety in numbers is that what you're saying? Exactly. <laughs> Safety in numbers, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I thought that it would be a good idea for us to do this because I know that um, Trish does the Sabbath celebrations for Sabbath Social, um, and it. things are. Thank you. I think you do because I love awesome. it too. I love watching all of y'all's Aww. videos because all three or all five of you all, us do the pre recorded stuff, except for Jenna. I think, Miss Jenna, you don't do any pre recorded. Good no. for you, girl. <laughs> yeah, I like the pre recording. Oh. I'd much rather do pre recording. Love pre recording. You love pre recorded? I do. I, do. You do? I love both, actually. I love both. Um, because I have my own YouTube channel, um, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I love doing both. But live, I think, is, is more fun uh, because mm -hmm. you're you're actually um, not only conversing with whoever else you're hanging out with, but yeah. whoever else is in the chat. Mm -hmm. Like, I have right some here. reason. <laughs> this right here, you get like that instant feedback. I think that's yeah. nice because you don't feel like yeah. a crazy person just talking to yourself alone in the room. You're like, well, well yeah. I was going to say, I want to say hello to the bougie mystic. Yes. Oh I'm so glad he's back doing videos again. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm going to have to go subscribe. I was going to yes, say, me too. Yeah. Check this out now. Welcome. That's awesome. Well, I mean, I know that, so Trish had come and said at the last team meeting, because we have those, um, and by the way, next team meeting is next Sunday, y'all. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> You're like, oh, hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, there's like, there's not a Sabbath for this next month. And I'm like, well, what, what should I do? do this? Yeah, we have this thing on Sabbath Social. If you go to SabbathSocial.com, it's free. Um, there's a lot of things in Sabbath Social that are free. So you don't have to be a member um, to reap some benefits. But we have this thing called Ask a Witch. And we started it because I've noticed, at least on my channel, there's a lot of people that have questions. Hey, what do you use eggshells for? Hey, what do you use blah, blah, blah? If I'm trying to do a road opener spell or if I'm trying to get a job, what do I do to that? Oh, I need something to sell my house. You know, like all of these things. So here we have this platform where people can literally type in your question and one of the 17 Sabbath social team members will be able to answer that question. And I thought this might be another way or another platform for people to get to know us and hear our wisdom, ask questions um, in the chat. And also maybe if we get some more questions on the website, then we can answer those questions here too. I had so many questions when I was first starting out. So I know yep. there's questions to be asked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I still do. Too. I still do. Right. right. Exactly. I still do as well. I still do. do. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> always learning. Always learning. I was going to say always learning. Never mm -hmm. stop learning because there's yep. always something new and different. Someone will have a new idea, a different way. Mm -hmm. And um it's exciting. I it love is learning. exciting. I love learning something new from somebody else's perspective. Yeah. Right. And then you're like, what? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your Let mind gets blown. <laughs> Your mind gets blown. And yeah. then it's like, it's room for expansion, you know, not only here, but like here, like it's great, you know, it's to find somebody adventure. else's perspective on that. Right. I think so, that's what I love about being an intuitive eclectic witch because I feel like I've given myself the 
license to do whatever I want. You know, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. If it's if it's okay with spirit and deity, I'm going for it. I do ask for permission. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Um, so I I guess I open it up to the chat. If you do have a question that you're struggling, you know, something that you're struggling with in your practice and you want to ask a question, just put it all in bold letters so that we can easily see it as the chat scrolls. And I'll bring it up on screen and then we can um, we can answer your question the best of our abilities. And if you don't want to do that and you want to do a private situation, then go to SavaSocial.com and type in your question and we can answer it next time. Yeah, exactly. Certainly. And, um, you know, ooh. Ooh. Here comes ooh. Irish bringing the here, questions. Here comes <laughs> Irish. Here's another one that I've met in person. I flipping love this woman. I do too. I She's know. Amazing. <laughs> Magic for different stages of our crone lives. Hmm. Yeah. And and there are so many different yep. stages. I'm 58, so I think I'm a little older than most of you. I'm or, 58 I'm, too. Okay. So yeah. 58. There, 48. There are many stages. 49. <laughs> I'm 41. About to be 42. <laughs> So the difference for me is I have new grandchildren. So my kids are grown and I have new grandchildren. I think that me and Melody are in the same spot, right? More more or less. I have one teenager. So I'm like both because I'm still having to do the mom thing. But then I'm grandma. But I'm fun grandma. (laughs) (laughs) My grandma. I get you. I get you. But yeah, I'm still dealing with the teen though. <laughs> Fifteen. I, so. Oh, I don't like. Oh, I I don't envy you at all. Yeah, you know, you know. Mine are sixteen and eighteen. <clears throat> right. Sixteen yes. and eighteen. And the the sixteen year old added a ton more gray hair to my head last Sunday. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, she had, the Vikings yeah. did today for me. Got into an ATV wreck. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Oh, the Vikings yeah, game! I'm telling you, they're going to kill me. And they're yeah. just so exciting oh. lately. They won by this much, <laughs> and I have much more gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I got so it, oh my god, I can't even. She she called me. It's like. We're okay, but and I was like, "Oh no, no, no you're not. Oh, Where you at?" No. And it was right down the road. Oh gee, we're down the they oh, flipped an it. Accident. Yeah, oh, an goodness. ATV. They flipped it. Their her friend wouldn't slow Are down. Are they okay? Yeah, uh, Allie just had like a whiplash, and but her, I guess I don't know whatever she's talking to. <laughs> he broke his wrist. Um, oh. And her friend hurt her knee and broke a rib. And then uh, the other boy hit mm-hmm. his head, but he pulled everybody up out of the road and put them in the ditch. And yeah, last Sunday was great. I, I, wow. I was okay. Like, I was thinking that this just happened. I'm like, girl, why are you on camera right now? No, 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 no. Last Sunday, I was fit to be tied oh i bet fit to i be just tied. bet because it's like on the other hand you're you're very thankful that they're okay but then yeah. you're like you why were you still on it why did you just not tell her to stop and get off when you knew yeah but you you know it's one of those i mean i'm i'm did stupid stuff too i was going well, to you say, gotta you be look- young and dumb to be old and wise Yes. Yeah. When you look back on your life and you think of all the stupid shit you did as a kid, I mean, yeah. so much. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm so just grateful that we got to grow up without, you know, camera phones for all right. the things yeah. that I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I, I tell my kids. I'm like, if there was Facebook or Instagram or anything like that back then, I would not have a job. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Like, I, I would be I love, in trouble. I love what um what Kim has to say about being a crone. Can you highlight her, right? I can. I can. Yes. 
And oh, to wow. answer okay. that question about the different stages, mm -hmm. what kind of magic you use, the mo majority of the magic I used, um, like going through menopause, was so difficult. And so I did a lot of self-care and healing mm -hmm. type of magic. And yes, as I've gotten That's older, there's been magic for empowerment. And the majority of it is, you know, mm -hmm. self-care. Mm -hmm type yeah, of magic. I was going to say that was definitely also a big part of my journey as well mm -hmm. was really um, the magic of tuning in more to yes. my body, getting yeah. deeper in touch mm -hmm. with the, the feelings that were happening inside and trying to you know, understand yeah. them better and then easing that as much as I could through various self-love techniques. Right. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Going through menopause is so, so hard. It's horrible. It's so hard. It's horrible. And I'm going through it. I don't know about anybody else. Well, I don't know about you, Trish, but I did it with no HRT. I did it that yeah. way as well. It would, yeah. In fact, I was advised to have a hysterectomy because I had issues, but I knew if I could get through it and I knew I didn't have long to go mm -hmm. that I could avoid the invasive surgery. So yeah. that's what I did. Um, but yeah, I, although it's hard, I never felt more spiritual and mm -hmm. more in touch with goddess yes. as yes. I did while See, I went through menopause. And I'm having yes. the opposite right now. I'm having the opposite. I don't feel, I mean, like right now I don't feel like it's not that I'm stopping doing anything but I don't feel connected to anything and I don't know mm -hmm. if it's just because I'm going through this you know with what happened to Allie and then my own health issues that are going on right now ended up with kidney stones again this week oh and yeah I was back in the emergency room Wednesday getting old is no fun no, no it's not like, and no it's not I just I don't feel like this season, I'm just not feeling in touch with anything. I'm just, I, I like, I stay depressed because I'm like, like I was told my husband last night, I'm like, Allie's about to get a job because, you know, she's getting her license. I'm like, how, how did, how did we get here? The kids aren't going to be here. We're, you know, and everybody's like, oh, enjoy it. I'm like, but it's sad to me. It is right. sad. It is it's sad. sad. It's very bittersweet. But let me tell yeah. you, when my son moved out and it was just me and my husband, mm -hmm. although I was so sad because I love him so much, I could have done a cartwheel, I'm telling you, because <laughs> there is a freedom. <laughs> I could have done cartwheels for a while. There, there you know, is a freedom. I was there so happy that he was out mm -hmm. on his own and, and making yeah. a life for himself and mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it was and, you a know, wonderful I mean, transition. I know I still have a little bit for that because my kids like it too much at home. They <laughs> too much at home. So I know I've got a little bit for that. But it's like trying, I'll, I'll sit there and I want to, you know, I almost feel like I'm forcing myself to do my craft. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not. I'm not you know what? Myself. Okay, wait. Well, you so know. then wait. So then mm -hmm. my suggestion, this little crony friend is going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> when when times get like that, put it on pause. Have a conversation mm -hmm. with whoever you're working with, spirit guides, deity, or whatever, and say, I got to put this over here because the energy I'm given that is jank right now. And it's you kind of like tainted, you know, and you need yeah. to replenish. And if you don't, you're gonna feel spread so thin. I yeah. think I felt like I was pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it to a point where I knew, like changed my whole practice. I changed my whole yeah. practice. Um, and and you know, I at first don't... I felt guilty and then I felt yeah. relieved after a while. And I'm like, huh, all right. You just let, let yourself off the hook because you have the right to do so. Yeah. See, and, and I'm like, you know, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I know I should, but. 
I'm like, you know, what is everybody going to think if I don't, if I'm not posting you know it, doing honey, it, you know, you and I'm, are I'm just practicing magic every day. Every time you cook mm -hmm. a meal for your family, you're putting mm -hmm. love into your meal. You yeah. are witching. See, and you I do a lot of, I sit there and mm -hmm. if like, of course I have my money off here and I do all my normal things, but I sit there and I just kind of do it in my head. I know that sounds weird. It's okay. But I do it in my in my head. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm you gonna know, highlight I'm this because I think you need to see it because the state of the world right now, Jess, there's a lot of people. Yeah. If you notice, oh, yeah. there hasn't been a whole lot of engagement and there people are staying in their homes. The world is a really crazy place right now and it doesn't feel friendly. You know, it does no. not feel friendly out there. You no. have your little circle and you just sort of stay to your circle. There's yeah. a lot of people going through that. And that, that well, is something that happens you know, in the journey. It just does. And I was debating on even saying anything about it because on Instagram, there is a couple of witchy pages <laughs> I follow. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. well, some, their, some of their content was getting a little too, you know, too much for me. So, and I did I unfollow their pages. Well, I got some really nasty messages. I mean, really nasty messages. Mm -hmm. I am not a You're true You're stepping wife. away? I am not. A, well, because I, I disconnected from their page. I'm not a true witch. Why don't you ever oh show your offer? Why don't you ever do this? <laughs> I'm I'm ten. Oh, my I'm God. Not, I'm right. I'm I know. I um, follow your page anymore. I'm going to do this and that. And I'm like, you, freaking oh, kidding bro, me? Uh, you really? know what? I <laughs> I, don't I, gotta, care. I gotta say, I I love Kim Moon Whisper said something earlier in the chat. She said the best thing about being a crone is knowing ourselves and not giving a fuck what, what? others think yes. about yeah. what we yes. do. Yeah. Well, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it up again. There, there it is. is. There, it is. Yeah. there it is. <laughs> um, that is a mood, girls. That is a mood, and <laughs> it takes a little while to get there. Mm -hmm. Jess, I promise you're gonna get there. And it I, does. Oh, I know. I, and I'm and I'm getting. I'm getting there. I'm. It's I'm slowly like. You know, I was looking at those comments. I'm like, really? You don't even freaking know me. How can you, you, you have no right to even say any yeah. of this crap to right. me. I don't have to show Obviously, you those not. were the wrong people to be following anyway. So yeah, and, that, and that's, no, I'm like, I don't have to show you pictures of my altar if I don't want to. It's mine. Right. It's private. Right. I do what I want. Mm -hmm. I don't have to show you this. I don't you have do, to. don't need to find problem. validation in anybody else. Yeah. But yes. Exactly. And I'm like, if you want to unfollow my page, that's fine. Unfollow my page. I don't care. I don't need you as a customer anyways. <laughs> You know, yeah. you know what I've you know I had that um I had that I with my it. even my own close friends. My own close friends were like, "You're not a real witch if you're not doing this and this and this and this." And then I like realized I'm like, you know what? There's something about this friendship that feels very very. <sighs> And I'm over here over functioning in said friendship in order to make them happy and feel yep. like I'm valid. Newsflash: yeah. I was valid when I stepped in the goddamn room. Yeah. I wanted to put the smack down on those people. I remember when that was happening, <laughs> by the way. I do. I do. I remember those people. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put the smack down on them. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm not a real witch, my butt. I, I don't, you know, you want to be like, okay, what, what, you know, everybody has their own definition of what a real witch is. Or I guess, you know, I'm like. Okay, I, I go to work every day. I, try, I, you know, people look at me. No, you're not. Why? Why am I not? What what def what defies someone being a witch? You know. What, Sorry, my you internet like is you're acting you're a little. You know. I you know, thought you were just sitting there for a minute, Raven. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, so did I. The thing of it is. I think it is Jessica, you know, I've gone through that depression yeah. phases, feeling like yeah. crap, hating the world, hating myself, everything. Mm -hmm. But you know, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your deities, they're there. Even if you're not practicing, they're there with yeah. you. In fact, oh, they're my even they're the ones telling you, just chill out. 
take your yeah. take time to cry take time to go through it feel it yeah. we're here we got you so and yes. you don't have to be practicing spell work to be yeah. spiritual and i wish people, people, know. Know. I wish yes. people would understand that we don't have to be like you know <laughs> doing things every day i do things exactly. every day you know i say I my little things and i you know do my little stuff i you know Okay, I don't care every minute of the day when you're sleeping, when you're cooking, when you're Mm -hmm. going to work, it does not matter. See, Mm -hmm. that's the thing I never understood is there Mm -hmm. is all this pressure to perform. It's like they want ceremonial ritual for something every single day because they've got this idea in their head that that's what witchcraft is that you do these elaborate rituals you you make yeah. spells every day and i'm like oh my god do you yeah. know how exhausted i would be i couldn't function every day well and there's no time no right i have an there's actual no life to live you know yeah um, yeah, it, it's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Some I want to touch ideas. on something here. Mm-hmm. Somebody, Abby, Abby the witch had had said this. I I got to tell you. So you guys are talking about menopause and all that other stuff. I had to have a hysterectomy. I had to have a hysterectomy at twenty two years old. So oh, I've been going yeah. through menopause since twenty two, and you know I didn't. They didn't put me on. Oh, well. because you know the studies are showing that that was a cancer risk and all that other stuff i found out that that was only one study and it wasn't accurate and i've been dealing without hormones this entire time and now just recently put on them to try to make other things happen i guess for my life you know it's joint pain lack of sleep hot flashes all these things but i you know you're going through this stuff i remember feeling for years and this was before I decided to go into the path um for years that I wasn't a woman because I no longer had a womb like I'm like what am I like I didn't feel feminine anymore like it was a complete disconnect like I don't know if anybody else can understand that but I was like what my history to me doing I'm, I was that I, I've put mine off for so many years because it's that feeling of well, what is my husband going to think, even though he's like, you do what you got to do to get you better. I don't really care, you know, but it's yeah. like, you, you know, I told him, I said, you don't understand us like, because women are we're so much that, you know, we can carry life, we can give life and then someone's going to come in and rip that out and we can no longer do that. I said, that is yeah, but after a certain age, we can't do it anyways. And I have yeah, to say I that to. I have some <laughs> friends that have chosen not to have children or they can't yeah. have children. And they're just as much of a woman. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I think, thank you. And there's a lot of women out there who struggle with that. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's one of those. I don't know. I'm just. Oh. Yeah. Although I'm just going through, through it. What I mean, Abby it's okay. says. Yeah. Being a woman is magical. Mm-hmm. It is. We we can do some some damn awesome shit. Excuse my language. Yeah. <laughs> we can. We can. We, can. we are the stronger sex. I do believe. I <laughs> and I'm not trying to be sexist here. I'm not. But we can do a lot. We can do a lot. Um, yeah, do. Not to yeah. say that a man cannot, because men can. We are. No, she no. had something to say. <laughs> she did. <laughs> and... oh, <no. laughs> we are awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Her 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 Wi-Fi must be a man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Poor thing. I know. It's a thing. It's a thing. And I've got People, I think, downstairs, everybody's jumping on the internet at the same time. I'm like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, yeah. 
It's it's life on an island. It's beautiful, but it's a pain <laughs> in the ass as far as technology goes. It's a pain. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Well, no. I've I've had um I know that we talked a little bit about this and I'm glad that we did because I you know that that was something that I struggled with and just maybe you're there at that point and it's yeah. it is hard. It is hard, but yeah. you got us we ain't going anywhere. Oh. You're welcome to message us at any well, time. Yes. And we I love saying, on you. And I also thought, I'm like, well, if I put a pause on my practice, what are they, like, what are y'all going to think if I'm not? And then it's because I'm so used. I grew up with, with a bunch of narcissists in my house. So I'm so used to having to be that people pleaser, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Laughing at the you know, And I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, I don't know. And then I was like, today, you know, I cleaned off all my stuff. I put, you know, I kind of just to reset everything. And I was like, I'm done for a while. I've got to be for a while. I've got, I've got other stuff. I've got to just. And then, because normally during the winter time, I, I'm very, I don't feel like being you know how to, I don't even know how to Witchy. what I'm trying to say right. yes. active in your practice you know, I, yes yes and then I feel like mm-hmm. everybody's gonna be like oh well then you can't do this this and this well I, okay yeah just, you know, know what I mean is that life Sorry, is a, life is a series of ups and downs yeah you know? We're going to have our highs and we're going to have our lows, but we're always Mm -hmm. going to come back up again, you know, and right now you just have enough having some downtime and there's Irish. I've done that. (laughs) I've done nothing wrong in that. You know, my, my practice Mm -hmm. went dormant for several years due to, the circumstances I was in and the people mm-hmm. I was surrounded with because yep. I couldn't mm-hmm. be very out in the open. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you and know, I, yeah. it, you know, and I wish people understood more about, you know, when, when women do get to a certain age, I know there's, you know, there's some people out there like, you just need to suck it up. You just need to suck it up and deal with it. It's part of life. Well, I understand that. And it is part of life. But I'm allowed to be upset <laughs> about yeah, this part you are. of life. I'm allowed sure. to be angry about, you know, because my, I feel like I'm bipolar every freaking day. Oh, yeah. I get that. Let me tell you. As bad as it is, I have to say, on the other side of menopause, it's good. So just so. get it's through good. it and we'll help you get through it. Because I cried about a freaking kitten. Stuck I in the grocery store that tears. my son works at that because oh, yeah. they have rat traps in there and I and you know and Clayton was like yeah the kitten's still in there and I was like I was like oh okay then I got to thinking and I went to my husband I'm crying I'm like what if the kitten gets stuck on the glue trap and he dies from the food he was like oh my god and I cried in the bed and my husband's just like it will be okay. Kind of scary. You know, like, I know my I husband was a little frightened. I'm a crier. So the next day, my son texted me. He said, "Mom, the cat's fine." Because <laughs> he was like, "What is wrong with you?" Because I was just like, "The kitten's gonna die." You know, it's just little things like that. Or when I went into PetSmart and I cried because there was a black cat that was separated from all these other cats. And he didn't have anyone in the cage with him. All these other ones did. And I was like, why isn't he allowed to have a friend in the cage? What's wrong with him? Well, <laughs> I just started crying in that smart. So. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, what is wrong with this black cat? There's nothing wrong with him. Why can't he have a friend? Everybody else can have a friend. <laughs> he singled out. <laughs> you know, and this lady you know was what? looking at even, me. Uh, even uh, <sighs> Bougie Mystic here in the. In the chat says that uh, his yeah. practice has gone dormant for a few years, yeah. and he's mm-hmm. just getting back to it uh, in the last couple of weeks. So good for mm-hmm. you, yeah, good, good for, for you. you. Yeah, mm-hmm. good. Yeah, and then <laughs> Tracy at at Two Rocks Tarot. I love her. Two Rocks Tarot. This woman has been through 
so so much um you know cancer chemo radiation then she had a mastectomy um yeah all all this stuff and you know she's just uh she took a step back as well because it was about healing her body taking that time to write and yeah. so you have to walk away for the practice for a while to yeah. to get your body right before you can kind of ease back into things or you know when you feel yeah. like easing back into things yeah. so um i was curious is there any spe- anything specific anyone does on a daily basis that you would consider a witchcraft practice. I practice gratitude every day intentionally. And although some people would say that's not a magical thing, gratitude has changed my entire life. And there's magic in gratitude. I definitely I agree. That's great. That's definitely. great. For me, I, uh, every morning I get up and I make my coffee and I sit with, uh, you know, nothing on, no TV, radio or anything. And I just sit for like maybe five minutes and just enjoy, really enjoy the taste of my coffee Mm. and the feeling, taking in the feeling of the morning, just that that quietness before the day starts. Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. That's something that kind of, I think it kind of grounds me Mm -hmm. to get my day started. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, mine is kind of coffee related. I have a lot of morning time. I'm an early bird. um, So I'm usually up, especially with this time change. Oh, talk about (laughs) getting older. When you're a crone, it doesn't (laughs) feel the same as when you were 12. However, um, (laughs) I I send to my coffee like I enchant my coffee and sometimes I I set up my day I think is what I'm doing I I might be talking to my ancestors at the same time but that's that's what I do in the morning and I have to have that hour sometimes I'm stretching sometimes you know I'll hold a couple of yoga poses if I can but mainly it's watching the sun come up I'm having that time with myself that is really really needed and I talk into like I will I will speak and drink so I'll be like da 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 so we're gonna have a good chat today right everybody's gonna feel comfortable and everything's gonna be great take a sip I love it I love it that's a that's and it goes in wonderful that's a wonderful practice. That's great. For me, it's yeah. communing with nature, but not how people think because everyone thinks, oh, go to the mountains and go hiking. No, it's just me <laughs> stepping outside, feeding the animals, you know, mm-hmm. even talking to the trees, the birds, arguing with the sun because I have like a hate relationship with heat. And <laughs> So I'm like, I love you, but why the hell you got to be so fucking bright so early in the morning? (laughs) Yeah. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we call it the suspicious orb in the sky. We're like, what the hell is that? I I do a lot because I have to leave early for work. And sometimes Mm -hmm. I have to drop. So I'm always talking to my I I do things in my car. I'll like, you know, talk and ask for, you know, my husband and my kids to have a really good day at work and school, make sure everything, you know, and I'll, you know, say thank you for everything that we do have, you know, mm-hmm. this and that. I do that a lot in my car because I, I there's sometimes I leave so early that the moon is still out. So I know I me too. I'm, I'm at work at six in the morning. So mm-hmm. I see the moon every, every and day will, before work. I will talk to the moon. <laughs> a lot of times I do in the car and I'm just because I'm just driving you know and uh, mm-hmm. I stopped the one day and there were some cows that were out in the road as I was going I almost hit them but I didn't 
And I got out, I rolled down my window. I'm like, what are you doing in the road? I'm like, don't you know you can hit it? I'm like, go, go, hurry up. I'm like, let's go. I'm just going to turn around and say, okay, I'll go. And I'm like, come on. I want you to go. Just go. <laughs> you know, but I do a lot of things in my car. I do. Because that's why I spend the majority of my time. Is in driving. Mm -hmm. I, that's what Irish was asking. I saw in the chat if anybody <laughs> yeah. right, right. I love some of the other practices though that um, <laughs> our, our folks in 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 chat have uh, provided. You know, oh, yeah. um, Irish says a mantra. Why uh, she yeah. stirs and puts a pentacle in her coffee. My friend Grun oh, yeah. brushes. Brushes her teeth for 365 seconds while giving thanks for the new day. She oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Right? Um, yeah. Abby, uh, Abby stares at the trees awesome. and the moon at night when she takes her dogs out to soak it up. Julie mm, yep. enchants her coffee as well with a pinnacle. Yep. Love Tracy. It. She has a coffee and watches the, the sky change. That is magical in itself, right? Just yes. watching the sky change. Sun oh, yeah. up, sun down, yeah. all of it. I was coming yeah. home Friday and I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, when was I coming home? Um, Friday and I'm like, I told Bear that I'd be home mm -hmm. by a certain time. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm heading to I literally stopped at two beaches just to take pictures of stuff because I'm like, this is gorgeous. And we just had this horrendous storm and all that other stuff. But it's like a, it's like God is promising something like almost like rebirth it's like she had to have her cry fit she had to have her breakdown you right. know i really feel that the earth is in some weird healing cycle that's just not what we as humans know it because the earth has mm -hmm. been here so much longer than humans so yeah. she's doing her thing and we got to do ours and people something that um I find here is that there are a lot of people that are just like, no snow. Oh my God. Is it snowy? Oh, disgusting. Blah, blah, blah. I am so grateful for whatever mother nature gives me, so especially nice. as the seasons I grew up in, in California and there's not a whole lot of seasons change. Then I went to Texas, not a lot of season change. Oh. So every single time <laughs> the weather wants to do something, I'm like, okay, that's what we're doing. All right, let's go. I you know, like it just. Here. And here in Minnesota, I have to roll with it. You I have roll to with just, it. You know, it's yeah. different every single day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to admit, that, you yes. know, <clears throat> I grew up in Buffalo, so I couldn't wait yep. to get the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I have been in I have been in Southern California for the last almost 30 years, but mm -hmm. I'm still grateful for the snow because the snow melt is what gives us a lot of our water here. Right. And so I have to be grateful for it, but I don't have to live in it <laughs> and i love to live in it i love the winter oh, so I much no i want snow here in texas so bad oh. did you run a bunch of it just a couple years ago yes but i couldn't go out and play it <laughs> go play in it um it's I know funny it so you know i was mad at it at that time but you know if I had power, it was forced to mad. Mad. Yeah. that's funny. That is funny. I, I'm one of those, I guess I'm a winter witch. I guess I'm a kitchen hedge winter <laughs> sea witch that right. does all kinds of stuff. Um, I feel energized by the I do cold. Too. I do too. Energized. I'm like, let's do all the things. Like people do that spring cleaning. I'm like, mm -hmm. like so I'm doing my have, deep, yeah, I'm doing so my deep cleaning have, now. Have, Depression, yeah. seasonal depression in the mm -hmm. winter time. And my depression is usually in the spring in the and summer. summer months. Mine too. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hello, friend. Hello. Yeah. Fall and spring. I don't I don't like it. <laughs> and I love winter. I wish we had I wish Texas had a decent winter, but Texas is, <laughs> you know, Texas is whatever. You know, and I keep, whatever. I'm like, as soon as my kids graduate, I wanna I wanna <laughs> move from Texas. <laughs> 
Well, you can come and visit me here anytime and see the snow. Okay. I'll have to do that because I love snow. I don't like it when I'm having to shovel it in pan so I can flush my toilet. Because yeah, I no, no. You just got to move to an area that has an infrastructure that's ready for said yes. things. Yeah, it's good. Cool. love to play it and come back <laughs> in and have power and flushing bullets and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it that time because we were having yep. a, you know. Well, y'all enjoy your snow. Uh, I will let you have <laughs> as much as your little hearts desire. Go ahead. Build that in. Jenna. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> and Jenna's like, yeah, y'all go have it. I'm good. I'm going to be walking on here. the beach. You fuck all that beach. I, I've been okay. All right. So the first time, mm -hmm. mine too. The first time it snowed mm -hmm. here, I was like, hmm. So out my back door, which Jenna, you've seen at the bottom, yes. you know, it's a uh -huh. slider and you can just go right out into the yard. And that's where I let Luna out or whatever. And it was before I had Luna. So there were no landmines out there, if you know what I mean. There were no landmines. However, <laughs> first snow happened and i literally there, there was nobody in the house <laughs> there was off looking for something or whatever i stripped down to nothing yes. and just laid in it i, I was like walk no. bare it. like i took a little <laughs> snow bath i was putting it all up in my boobies like i loved it it was fantastic i don't yeah. know if i can go that far i don't know, Talk about I don't know if i can go that snow far angel <laughs> oh you gosh. Know. So now I everybody knows I'm a freak. <laughs> no, you're not a freak. You're not a freak at all. You were just having fun. I was having fun. Yeah, I was having yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you know, that's something else I think about being a crone is that we focus more on the fun. Uh, you know, the down times happen, but I don't and they think do. we stay down as long <laughs> because we're more concentrated on the good stuff that's going on. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's because yeah. we're closer to death. I wasn't <laughs> going to say it, but I'm glad you did, Chris. <laughs> I have to enjoy every minute. I don't know how many minutes mm -hmm. I have left, so they're going to be know happy. What? Maybe that should be our motto. <laughs> You know, it should be our mind. It's I mean, it's yeah. I and you okay, so another one, and you all have gotten my spiel in regards to why we started Sabba Social, but because this is a thing, we get so caught up in the day-to-day cycle of just doing the things to pay the bills to do the stuff to do it again tomorrow and we sort of stop celebrating and especially yeah. when the pandemic hit we stopped <laughs> celebrating and my what are you laughing about <laughs> I celebrate more. Awesome. We need to, we I'm need to awesome. celebrate more. I celebrate freaking everything. Good. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but with the the dances with death that I've had, I <laughs> only knew that know, before. Have, I have come <laughs> to realize that you know there are far more important <laughs> things, and you know the fun mm -hmm. is where mm -hmm. it's at because you only yeah. get the one. The one shot. Yeah. Yep. Like no, a celebration. Get, yeah. Yeah. You get some curveballs and yeah. Like this has been my tower year. And let me tell you, it's been a fucking tower year. Ugh, and tower. yeah, like yeah. all year. But you make the choice every day to be happy and mm -hmm. get through it. Yeah. And we do. We do. Yeah. We do. We, we do. do. It's real easy. It's so easy. And I hope Wi-Fi doesn't go out for this because this is really, really important. We get so bogged <laughs> down with the day-to-day -day and did it go out? Damn it. No, no. it didn't. Did it go out? I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I'm I just going to wait. I think, I I think Desert's lagging a so little much. bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's like we do get bogged down with the day-to-day -to, -day to a point where we forget <laughs> to do the stuff. What now? Did it happen again? No, no. 
No. What is happening? <laughs> what is the giggling? I, I, I just don't. I don't know. Melody is stuck in absolute laughter. <laughs> oh, she is. Oh, no. She, she, is. she, she is. She's good. She yeah. good. But yeah, we do get stuck. We get stuck, you know, like where we're stuck in our practice, where we're stuck in whatever. And it's like sometimes it's so much easier to just stay in your jammies and not go anywhere and not do anything and just not show up yeah. for things. And that gets a little less and a little less and yeah. a little less. And then you're like, huh, I feel so unbalanced. Well, there's body, mind, and soul as well. You know, like there's so many other ways to take care of yourself. And we yeah. also, creatures by habit or by nature, we need other people. We do need that interaction. And I've done a lot of meet and greets over the years. And I've watched yeah. so many people become friends that would never scenes you aren't even understanding what the chats are like they're like well what if they did and i'm not sure and i you know and i'm like will you just fucking show up already enough like enough and just, i mean i was delighted the other day because i was on facebook and i was checking with my friend tara and sure enough miss jenna over here became fast friends with tara who i worked with and she's over here liking comments and having other comments on Tara's feed. And I'm like, that's what this is about. Yeah. That is what this is about. It's about a connection that we aren't getting or not allowing ourselves to have in our day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. And this is just as important as our day-to-day -day lives. This and as that. you get older, you realize that more and more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's, you know, there's certain people that I work with. That there's one lady that I work with, and she uh, practices. I see she, Abby's comment. I was laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, go. She knows what I do, and mm -hmm. she knows, you know, because she just left to go on vacation, and she, she asked if I would make her a, a, a bag to take with her because she hates flying. I was like, sure, yeah. I will. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, there, but everybody else I work with are very non-open minded so mm -hmm. she knows what I do they don't and of course they all want to follow me on like Instagram I'm like no no no, no, no follow me I'm like you can go follow my other one but you cannot follow my business one no because you're gonna be like what the heck and I hope one day that changes for you yeah. Because there's yeah. nothing more liberating well, <laughs> than not have to keep such a, yeah. you don't have to keep such a beautiful part of your life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Such a secret. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't yeah. have to be. Yeah. You and know what it feels like? Not. You know what it feels like? It feels like flashing your boobies. It's so free. <laughs> it's so free. <laughs> I used to do that a lot as a teenager. I used to do that a lot yeah. as a teenager. My when sister we just sent me a picture of her like, boobs Whoa. yesterday. <laughs> I think my sister sent me a picture of her boob last week. It was her left one. It wasn't both of them, just the left one. Oh my God. But, but I didn't get any like foreground to any of this stuff. I just had like, I'm at work and I'm just like, oh, sister sent me a message, boob. And just like, <laughs> it literally, so then there was the comment, what am I looking at here? And I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> My husband wanted her to send both, and she said, no, I think I'll wait for Christmas because there's no better way to honor our Lord and Savior than with sex. There you go. Of my boobs on Christmas. Nice. That's <laughs> and that's very my very nice. Christian sister. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we are at an hour right now, and I wanted, I know, see, it goes really quick. Um, but um, we, I think, if you guys agree, we can make this a regular thing. We could do this I would love every it. other. I, I was thinking it. every month. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Sounds and, great. If, yeah. and if everybody out there really wants a question, send whoever. It's free and we'll be happy to answer them. You can put it in this comments and chat below when this, you know, does its thing. 
or you can go to sabbathsocial.com and you could just, I think it's, it's the ask a witch tab. Why am I asking y'all? Y'all should <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it is ask a witch tab, okay? And you go there and you type out, you're going to be like that cat meme. You're going to type <laughs> out, like so, and then one of us are going to answer for you. And you can, yeah. the, the comments are right there and you can see all of the things. And we may save some of those questions that come through on there and we'll answer them here we just want to help you might have five different answers i yeah. was going to say you may have more than one person answer you with with different perspectives mm -hmm. which is yeah. something mm -hmm. i love uh yeah about, yes. uh, that area of yeah. sabbath social yeah it's so nice to have so many different views on everything from, you know, because not everybody practices the same way. It is exactly. it's just so nice to have that different opinion. Mm -hmm. that you That's the take, beauty of it. You can take a little mm -hmm. here, a little here, put yours in there and, you know, do what you want. And I love it. Exactly. I love it. There's so many. Yep. Mm -hmm. It, yeah. You know, it's like, it, we're like Shark Tank, but, you know, there is no deal, but you can decide what the deal you want to take. If I, had, if I had the money that they had on Shark Tank, I, True. I, yeah, that'd be great. If yeah, let me just write you a check for you know half a million. Sure, let me just like, take it right. out of my account. <laughs> Oh, 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 could you guys imagine if I won the lotto? Oh, <laughs> 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 Raven. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. All right. So I guess we'll be okay. back then if we're going to do, we'll, I guess we'll decide whether we want to do this once a month or um, every other month, but we'll be back. Yes. These are yes, our crows. You may not get all yes. five of us, but you'll definitely get at least three, it feels. And um, yeah, yeah, we're here for you. We're here for you, community. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming. Yes. yes thank you. In the chat. Uh, this was great. Thank you guys for going with my, another hair brand scheme from you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the chat asking for us to do it monthly? <laughs> In the chat. What was that? Oh, You're monthly. Oh, boy. Monthly in the chat. Oh, okay. okay. Well, so we're going to talk about that and see what we, we can reasonably do. And then we'll get back to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Y'all are too cute. All right. So All right. many blood things. We, Thanks, we hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful fall. If we don't, if, if we don't see you until winter, we hope that you have a wonderful fall. Many, many blessings to everybody. Everybody, you can say your goodbyes. Strive to be happy, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.